What's good YouTube? I'm Robert with the Crosscut Creations channel. Today I'm going to turn my first ever hybrid blank out of Alumalite and Wormy Sycamore. If you want to see how I did this, check it out. Welcome back. This is the first ever hybrid blank that I have turned. First we measure it to length and then we cut it to the correct length at the bandsaw. This is going to be a bolt action pen. Uh, it's a 30 caliber uh, style. I'm drilling out the hole for the tube to be placed in. It's a 3 8 inch diameter drill bit. And once we drill out the hole, we use a 15 minute epoxy to put the tube in the blank. This was the first ever hybrid blank that I've worked with and it was an absolute treat. After I let the epoxy dry, I mount the blank on the lathe and I start turning. Once I start turning, I r realized that the Alumalite was an absolute treat to work with. It turned like butter, and this hybrid blank was Alumalite with green dye and Wormy Sycamore. Uh, the hybrid was a, an Alumalite wood mix, hence hybrid. I got this blank and one other that's not turned in this video from Fred and Tina Wisson over at P-Town Subby. I'll leave their links in the description. They're great people to work with and one day I want to get into casting uh, and hopefully I will be contacting them for casting equipment down the line. This turned like an absolute dream like I said before and you can see this the, the way it differentiates between this and the other acrylics that I've turned is it's so smooth and the streams of Alumalite just fly off the lathe and it's just it's so oddly satisfying to watch. This blank also took less time to turn than the typical uh, acrylic blanks that I've turned because it was so smooth. It only took me about 10 minutes to completely turn this from uh, a rectangular shape down to the correct size of the bushings that it needed to be. Sanding was interesting with this blank because it was a hybrid blank. I went ahead and dry sanded 220, 400 and then a thousand and two thousand as a first round of sanding. After I sanded dry, I went over to the uh, micro mesh and I micro meshed from 1200 up to 12,000. When I was talking with Fred Wisson at the uh, Mid Ohio Valley Pen Turners Gathering event in September, he recommended a CA finish because there was wood in this blank, so I did use a CA finish. And then after I put a CA finish on, I went ahead and micro meshed one more time. After the micro mesh, I went and hit the blank with some Hut Ultra Gloss polish, and that really brought the shine out in the blank. And I was really excited about how this came out. I didn't turn this pen until late December, so it was a few months that I had the blank. Uh, this blank ended up being a Christmas gift for someone, so that's why it took so long to release the video. Now here I want to assemble the pen in real time to show you just what it's like to assemble a 30 caliber uh, bolt action pen. Here I'm just taking out the pieces of the pen and laying them out. We have a spring, we have the refill, we have the top, and we have the bottom. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the blank, and I'm going to determine which end I want to be the bottom or where the uh, 
ink cartridge is going to come out of. I decided I wanted the wood portion or the mostly wood portion at the bottom. So I went ahead and I uh, oriented the pen in such a way that it allowed me to do that. And I adjusted the pen press and pushed the blank into the, uh, I guess, bottom end of the pen. Just make sure you go straight with these because you don't want it crooked and you don't want it to break. I just put a little piece of cardboard in between the back of the pen blank and the uh, pen press just to give it a little cushion so it doesn't mar the surface. I picked up that little tip from RJB Wood Turner. Go check out his channel. He's pretty much the reason I'm into pen turning in the first place. After I put the bottom portion of the pen into the blank, I go ahead and figure out where I want the top end of the pen to be. This, these 30 caliber bolt action pens absolutely max out my pen press. I adjusted and adjusted and adjusted, and I did have enough room for this pen. It's just, it, 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 there, it was definitely close. So you can see I just have to adjust one more time here and we're almost at the end. You can kind of see how that spring is kind of maxed out. So after I got that squared away, I went ahead and pushed the top half of the pen into place. That's really all there is to the assembly portion. All that we have left is to put the ink cartridge in. So what I do is I remove the nib from the ink refill and I put the spring on the refill. And then I go ahead and drop the, I, well, first I unscrew the tip of the pen and I go ahead and drop the ink refill. It's just any Parker refill will do. So if you ever have to go change a uh, change a cartridge, just a Parker refill. Here, this was completely 110% my air. I, for some reason, couldn't just drop the ink refill into the pen. But uh, once I got it lined up, it went in super easily, and that was entirely on me. But after you get that dropped in, you put the nib back on screw it in and then you've got a working functioning pen ready to go and it really is just that easy hey guys thanks for hanging out with me today this one was a lot of fun i was a little nervous about turning this blank because i've turned other acrylics um, this alumalite turns nothing like the other acrylics that i've turned it turns like butter it was so much fun to work with um, i originally got this blank when I was at the Mid-Ohio Valley Pen Turners Gathering back in September. Um, I just haven't had a chance to turn this yet um, until now. It was a lot of fun. Um, it just, it, it turned like an absolute dream. I can't believe I waited this long to, um, to turn this thing. I, I probably waited because I was afraid I was gonna screw up a really nice blank, but Honestly, I really enjoyed it, and I'll definitely be uh, pursuing more uh, Alumalite and hybrid blanks in the future. The blank that I had was from Fred Wisson over at P-Town Subby. I'll put a link uh, in the description to, to his information. Um, he's got some, some really awesome products, so go check him out. If you like the video, make sure you comment, give it the thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe, share, and we'll see you next time.